How do you? Uh, my name is Detective Moore. Uh, thanks very much for taking some time out of your work here at the hospital. Um, I'm just going to be asking you a few questions today. Uh, this is our interpreter, Jane Tubergen, and um, uh, she's going to explain a little bit here. You could just give me a moment. Uh, I've just explained that what I'm going to be doing in this situation is I'm going to listen to the question and then interpret it. And I'm going to watch the response and then interpret it. So if the answer goes on a longer amount of time, I might ask you to pause for a moment so that I can get that information out. Okay. And then we can continue. So ready to begin. Okay. Um, I'm just going to be asking you a few questions about the, uh, the uh, incident which occurred at Terry's Bar and Grill, uh, which is located on 10th and Main uh, Avenue. Uh, this is where the murder of uh, Scott LeBain took place on uh, June 20th, and um, I understand you were there that evening. Yes, I was there that evening. Okay. First off, let me, uh, would you uh, state your full name for me? My name is Paul Haynes. Okay. Is it H A I N E S? H A N E S. Okay. And your address? Twenty one seventeen Birchmere in Catonsville. Okay. And uh, what department do you work in here at the hospital? I work in the pulmonary department. How many years? I would say roughly three years. Three years. Okay, on the evening of uh, June 20th, uh, did you go directly to the restaurant from work? I, after work, I actually stayed a little bit longer because I was waiting for my friend. And who was that friend? Ray. Ray. Did he go to the restaurant with you? Mm hmm We both left the hospital and went to eat at the restaurant together. And uh, what time did you arrive at the restaurant? I would say I got there around 5.30. And uh, how, where did you park in relation to the restaurant? The restaurant is on 10th and Main. I drove around that immediate area, had a difficult time finding parking, so I ended up parking on 12th Street, two blocks away.
Now, when you arrived at the restaurant, was uh, Scott Labane already there? I assume he was there already because my friend and I went into the restaurant and sat at our table and then noticed Scott was standing at the bar. So I would assume he was already there when we got there. Did uh, you uh, know Mr. Levine? Yes, I did. How would you describe your relationship to him? He was a, a nodding acquaintance. He worked at the hospital as well, so I saw him from time to time and we said hello. He worked at the hospital here with you? Which, yes. de which department? I actually don't know which department because most of the time we saw each other in the cafeteria. We didn't know each other that well. The uh, murder took place in the, uh, in the restroom of the restaurant. Uh, where were you seated in relation to the restroom? When walking into the restaurant, on the right side, there are a row of tables along the wall. We were sitting at the third table. I was facing the front door, and Ray had his back to the front door. Directly to my right, you could look down the hallway and see the restroom. Did you see uh, Scott LeBain enter the bathroom? Yes, I did see him go in the bathroom after we had been sitting there for a short while. At approximately what time did that take place? Well, we had had enough time to chat a while and order our food and have it brought to the table, so I would, and I noticed I looked at the clock, it was around 6.30. So you, you were there a full hour before he went into the bathroom, and you say that you saw him there at 5.30, and you didn't say anything to him or speak to him in any way? It was really interesting because Ray and I talked about that specific point. We had both noticed him when we first sat down and noticed that he was talking to a lot of other people around the bar, but he didn't approach us and say hello to us. I guess he seemed a little preoccupied. And because of that preoccupation, as well as we didn't really know him that well, we didn't feel comfortable approaching him and starting up a conversation because he was already having conversations and he was uh, a little preoccupied. Would you say that uh, Mr. LeBain was drinking heavily?
Yes, we saw him drink quite a bit. Uh, how many drinks would you say he had in that hour that you were there? Um, in that hour, I saw him drink three, but he looked as if he was already intoxicated before that. Did uh, you notice anything unusual in his behavior before he went into the bathroom? I did notice, uh, as I said before, that he was preoccupied. Um, a he seemed a little tense. It wasn't his uh, everyday kind of behavior. Even though I don't know him very well, to me, he seemed preoccupied. Usually, when I saw him, he was very happy-go-lucky. He said hello to a lot of people. This time, this evening, he didn't. Uh, were you drinking that evening? Yes, I had two beers. Mm -hmm. And what did you have for dinner? Oh, I had a very simple meal, bacon cheeseburger, french fries, and a dessert. When Mr. LeBain entered the bathroom at 6.30 approximately, uh, did you see anyone follow him? Yes, uh, when Scott went in around 6.30, a few moments later, I saw another gentleman enter the restroom, and we noticed that they had been in there for a while, but we didn't do anything about it. We just wondered. Mm -hmm. And did you see this other gentleman leave? Yes, I did see, uh, notice the other gentleman leave around 6.50. It happened to be at the same time that we were waiting for the waitress to bring our change back from our bill. So they were both in there together between 6.30 and 6.50? Yes. And how would you describe this, uh, this man that followed him in physically? He was about six foot tall. He had blonde hair, medium frame. A dark gray shirt and blue jeans. And uh, any distinguishing marks or features? You mean facial features? Mm -hmm. I didn't get a very close look at him. I just got a glance at him as he walked by. Mm -hmm. So no. So you, you, did you get a good look at his face? I mean, do you have a clear complexion? Did he have any facial hair?
I remember the blonde hair. I think he was clean shaven, but basically he just looked plain. Mm -hmm. How old? The, uh, the second person. Yeah. Uh, about the same age as myself, around 30. Is there any other, any other thing you can think of as far as to describe him? Uh, I do remember that he had two earrings because I thought that was a, that was one thing that was a little strange, but I didn't get a, a really close look at him because he just kind of walked by and I glanced at him. And you'd never seen him before? No, never. Did Was he in the restaurant before he went to the bathroom or did he walk in from outside to the bathroom? He was already in the restaurant because he came from behind me and there are tables behind me and walked to the bathroom. How long had he been there? Oh, I have no idea. I assume he was there already when he got there. And they had no communication prior to going into the bathroom? Not that I saw. Uh, all I saw was Scott go into the bathroom and then the second person go into the bathroom. They may have spoken in there, but I don't know. Once they were in the bathroom, did you notice anything unusual? While the two of them were in the bathroom? Yes. My friend and I were uh, having a really uh, in-depth conversation, so we weren't noticing the environment very much. We kind of glanced around, but we were more interested in our conversation, so I didn't notice anything. Did you see anyone else go into the bathroom or leave the bathroom during that time period? Um, when the, the, man, the second man who had entered the bathroom had left, uh, five or ten minutes later, we ended up leaving ourselves, so we really weren't sure. Okay. Did, so you, the, the... Excuse me, hold on. And uh, the, when the man left, we noticed that he did look kind of strange. What do you mean by strange? Uh, when he went into the bathroom, he looked average and normal. When he left the bathroom, he looked really tense. He was perspiring, and his shirt was not neat anymore. It was all wrinkled. And you didn't go into the bathroom to see if your friend Scott was okay? No, we didn't think about it at the time. Didn't you think it was odd that... Uh, your friend Scott was in the bathroom between 6.30 and 7 o'clock, and uh, he was in there for a full half an hour. Did you think that maybe he was sick? Um, you know, why, why didn't you go in to see if he was okay?
really at the time, at, at the time we didn't think about it. And uh, as for being in there for at least half an hour, I mean, you know how sometimes you go in there and it, it takes a long time because you got to sit down. So we really didn't think about it. Okay. Is there anything else you can think of uh, to describe uh, this person when he walked out of the bathroom and did he leave the restaurant immediately? When he left the bathroom, he left the restaurant immediately. And, and like I said, at the time, we really weren't even thinking about it. It just happened that the next morning, I read the newspaper article and realized that I had been there and started thinking back to what I had seen. Now, you said he was sitting in the restaurant before he went to the restroom. Was he sitting with someone, and did he return to that person, or did that person leave with him when he left the restaurant? Um, I'm not really sure because, as I said, his table was somewhere behind me, so I don't know if he was sitting with anyone. But after he left the restroom, he left the restaurant directly by himself. Okay. And at what time would you say you left the, uh, the restaurant? About 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. And where did you go after that? We went to uh, the sports bar about a block over to watch a baseball game. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there anything else that you can think of about that night that you've left out at the, up to this point? Not really. Okay. Um, I think that's all the questions that I have right now, and uh, we'll be in touch with you. Thank you very much. If you need any more information, feel free to contact me. We will.